Hey there, beer drinkers. I'm Sean, aka Kid Ugly. Welcome to my channel if it's your first time. Now it's good seeing you again. It's September, so you know what that means. It is time for the Oktoberfests. Um, I know they've been out super early already. It's nothing surprising. It happens every year. Pumpkins are out like crazy. So I'm doing one that I haven't done before. I thought I did, but I didn't. And that is Yingling's Oktoberfest. Coming in at... What is this coming in at? Huh, I don't see it on the bottle. I must be blind. I'm not sure what this is at. Um, I don't see ABV on here at all. Uh, I don't see any IBUs. I don't see any bottle on date. Huh. Surprisingly, there is no ABV on this. I'm going to probably say it's around 5% alcohol, give or take a few. Um, but, yeah, it's Ying Yingling, family-owned brewery out of Pennsylvania. Oldest brewery in the country. <clears throat> and this is their Oktoberfest. Classic Marzen style. So let's get into her. Twist top like a macro. So it's basically what these guys are. Um, just under macro category. Still technically craft if you go by the BA definition. But pours that dark orange, almost pumpkin-y kind of a red. Got a little bit over a finger of like khaki foam. Almost kind of like a caramel looking head going on there. Nice thick foamy type bubbles on it. Nice and clear color to it. Beautiful clear dark red oranges amber. Let's get some swirls on it. Ooh, yeah, got that good kind of a spicy nose to it. Good strong malt <clears throat> malt body. A little bit crackery biscuit going on. Almost like a little bit of floral, floral earthiness going on too. Like the hops are actually coming through in it. Got that kind of like a caramel, sweet, spicy. Smells like a good Oktoberfest. I mean, it's when you think of Oktoberfest, this is what it smells like. Mm. Clean, crisp, smooth. So smooth. Mm. It's got some of that deep, crackery, multi sweetness. That spice, a little bit of like, kind of, I don't want to call it spice, but like sweet notes going on. Super refreshing. It's one of my favorite times of year. Um, when the Mars ends and the October Fest comes out, good sweet lagers. Kind of got a little bit of that spiciness to them. It warms you up just a little bit. Perfect for that fall weather. <clears throat> it's still a little warm here, but it is what it is. If what this is, you know, I give it a good style of three. 0.75 out of 5. Mm. Is it the best? No. Is it the worst? Definitely not. You know, this is a staple in Pennsylvania. Born and raised Pennsylvania boy. Yingling all day long. Well, growing up. Not so much anymore. Um, that's a lot better beer that I stick to. And this is just a start for me of getting these beers. A little dryness in the back of the throat going on now. But it's, it's weird because you get that dry kind of, you know, back throat like you need another drink. But then you can just take another drink of this. But then it makes you want another drink. It's repetitive, man. Yeah, sweet, malty, 
kind of biscuity, not so much crackery, kind of biscuity malt going on. No bitterness to it. Yeah, 3.75 on this one. It's good. It's not bad. I've had better, had worse. So, thank you for watching. Until next time, cheers.